We're in Winslow, Arizona, and I have a trivia question. Who wrote that song, Standing on the Corner? You remember the band? The Eagles, but do you remember who wrote it? And he went out on his own. He was one of my favorites. Jackson Brown. Here, let's go check it out. We are officially in New Mexico and the landscape is breathtaking. It reminds me of a Frederick Remington painting. He's the artist that did all the bronze sculptures. Um, You may have seen them in the Oval Office in the White House. And he also was uh, lesser known for his painting. But Ken and I years ago went to the Remington Museum in Ogdensburg, New York, and his paintings were, a lot of them, um, of West landscape, and that's what this reminds me of. I'm just in awe of how pretty everything is. It's funny how you go from state to state, and it just changes, you know, so drastically. We're going to the Indian Cultural Center. So these are the 19 Pueblos of New Mexico. all the way up to Taos. the Pueblo corn dance, eagle dance, and deer dance. We met a friend of ours, Cinda, at Cervantes Mexican restaurant. They had excellent food. Ken was so happy. They've been open since 1975. The green and red sauce was excellent. The salsa was delicious. We closed the place down. Here's the room tour. <laughs> um, the bathroom's in the front part. I love that mirror. And it has a tub shower enclosure. Little kitchen area here with a refrigerator, sink, and microwave. And this room has a little sitting area 
with the TV. Desk area over here. <laughs> and reading near Nook. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, this is the sleeping area. Another TV. They have some pretty artwork up here. Let's look at that. Nice. And over here they have a couple more. So that's our room tour. We're in Albuquerque. We're here at the Sandia Peak Tramway. It's the second largest tram in the world. We're getting ready to go up it. tour guide said that little cabin that's on top of the peak right there if you can see it's like a little window they built it three times the first two times was made out of wood and it was for the young men during the depression that were up here building the paths uh, so people could hike the first time it uh, the wind blew so hard it blew it off the mountain. The second time it was struck by lightning and burned down. So it was made out of wood. And then the third time they read the story of the three little pigs so they <laughs> built it out of stone. <laughs> yeah. And it's been there ever since. And this part here is limestone and this here is granite and there's a billion years difference in the formation of those layers. It is a little brisk, mm -hmm. <laughs> but the views are spectacular. So if you guys ever get a chance and you're in Albuquerque, I'd recommend coming up and seeing the wonderful views, but bring a jacket. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're looking out east over the lookout tower. Pretty amazing view. This is the south view from the tower. And then we're starting to look towards the west towards Albuquerque. This is the second longest tram in the world. And the name of it is the Sandia Tram. Sandia. And the reason they named it that is because the trees on the mountain are green and the granite and rock formations are red and it looked like a watermelon. <laughs> And that is uh, Spanish for watermelon. I see what they mean when they say it looks like a watermelon. Ken and I were thinking this would be a great thing to do during the Albuquerque Balloon Festival. Come up on the tram and you could see all the balloons. You are now leaving land of the Enchantment, New Mexico. We are officially in Texas.